Hey everybody, it's Sarah from the Style Blog here, and today I'm so excited to take you to Sunscreen School with Nurse Sarah. That's right, I'm a registered nurse, and I'm going to teach you all of the differences between chemical and physical sunscreen. First off, let's talk about what these sunscreens contain in them. So a physical or a mineral sunscreen can only contain the minerals titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. However, a chemical sunscreen can contain a whole list of different chemicals. So some common chemical sunscreen ingredients include oxybenzone, avobenzone, and octanoxate. First off, I think it's important to understand how these sunscreens actually work. So the physical sunscreen actually sits on top of your skin and reflects the sun's rays back out so they don't absorb into your skin. Think of this like you're putting a physical mask on your skin with your sunscreen so that none of the sun's rays can get through. It's just reflecting them back out into the atmosphere. On the other hand, the chemical sunscreen actually attracts the sun's rays and it absorbs them into your skin and then turns them into heat and releases them. So basically they work in completely opposite ways but do the same exact thing. So if you're worried about irritation, the physical sunscreens are less irritating to your skin because it kind of just sit on top of them and it's not a mix of a bunch of chemicals that could cause some sort of redness, stinging, tingling, irritation, etc. This is basically why a lot of baby sunscreens are physical sunscreens and a lot of sunscreens marketed towards sensitive skin are also physical sunscreens. So you might have noticed that physical sunscreens are kind of thick and chalky and hard to blend in. They're a lot thicker because they're creating that physical sunscreen layer to protect your skin and they take a lot more work to get them blended in which can be a problem for darker skin tones especially. However, companies are getting really creative and working harder every day to make physical sunscreens less apparent on your skin. You've probably noticed that if you've applied a chemical sunscreen, it blends in super easily, you don't need nearly as much product and it disappears into your skin flawlessly. They're usually a lot thinner formula. However, those chemical sunscreens, you do need to wait at least 20 minutes before application and going into the sun for them to work. So for the physical sunscreens, you don't need any time between application and going in the sun. I could put it on right now, go outside, and I would be covered. Like literally covered and covered. <laughs> covered in sunscreen and covered as in protected from the sun's rays. <laughs> However, this also means that the physical sunscreen is a lot easier to sweat off or to come off while you're swimming. Even though it says waterproof, it is a little bit easier to wear off. Which is also a pro for the chemical sunscreens. They're a lot more resistant to the sweat and water. However, you still do need to apply them throughout the day regularly as you would a physical sunscreen. Okay, so let's talk acne prone skin here for a second. If you've noticed that you're using a chemical sunscreen and your face is breaking out more than normal, I would suggest you switch to a physical sunscreen and see if that helps. Since chemical sunscreens can be a little bit irritating and they can clog your pores, it can kind of make acne worse in some instances. I do personally notice that when I use a chemical sunscreen on my face, I have far more zits than when I don't. Okay, so all you pregnant mamas out there or ladies trying to get pregnant, I want to share this tip with you. So it has been shown in a study that oxybenzone, which is a popular chemical sunscreen ingredient, which I think is being used less now than it actually was before. So they did a study where the chemical was found in the fetus and it could potentially cause a very rare birth defect if used in very high doses in the first trimester. So if you've been using this, do not panic at all. Don't, absolutely don't. However, you might just wanna think about switching to a different chemical sunscreen ingredient or a physical sunscreen for the remainder of your pregnancy. By the way, every study that I am mentioning, I'm going to link down in my blog right below. So if you wanna to go to the exact study that I'm talking about, I will be sure to put the link for you and explain where I found everything. Okay, so I also wanted to share another study with you guys that seven different chemical sunscreen ingredients ingredients have been found above acceptable FDA levels in the bloodstream of people who have applied them. Sometimes this was only one application. So even though they've been found in the bloodstream, we don't know if this is necessarily bad. It could just mean nothing. I just wanted to bring this up. It's definitely nothing to panic about. And right now we do know that skin cancer caused from the sun is much, much more dangerous than these chemicals found in your bloodstream. But for now, definitely just keep wearing your sunscreen. Also, I wanted to mention that two chemical sunscreen ingredients have have been banned from certain countries because they've been shown to lead to marine life damage. It sort of kills the algae and certain creatures living in our marine ecosystems and also it has led to coral bleaching. So the beautiful coral reefs in the ocean, This, these two sunscreen ingredients have been known to take the color out and kind of bleach them out, which is kind of ruining the reefs. Those two ingredients are oxybenzone and octanoxate. All right, so there are so many pros and so many cons to chemical versus physical sunscreen that I, it is a complicated decision and it's one only you can make. 
So bottom line is if you love your chemical sunscreen, keep wearing it. If you love your physical sunscreen, keep wearing it. Nothing is going to be more risky than you not wearing a sunscreen. The most important thing is you protect your skin from skin cancer. Always, always look for broad spectrum in your sunscreen and always wear an SPF of at least 30. I prefer SPF 50. Guys, absolutely nothing that I've mentioned in this video is more important than your skin safety and protecting your skin from skin cancer. So wear those sunscreens every day, no matter what. Get in a habit, put it on first thing in the morning, reapply, especially if you're going to be outside in the sun. I truly, truly care about each and every single one of you, so I really just want you to keep your skin healthy and cancer-free. Nothing I've said in this video is more important than you protecting your skin, so wear whatever sunscreen you like and you feel comfortable wearing. Next up, be sure to check out my sun protection video. I'm going to link it for you right up here. It covers a whole lot more than just wear sunscreen, I promise. I talk about sun shields, UPF clothing, when you should stay in the shade, basically everything you need to know to keep your skin protected and cancer-free. So make sure you check that out and don't forget to keep your skin safe. See you next time.